patient selection. In this video, you will learn how to select raindrop patient candidates based on refraction and objective measurements. Who is the ideal patient for raindrop? The ideal patients are those who are presbyopic and seek a solution to improve their near vision without the use of glasses or contact lenses. The patient should be 41 to 65 years of age and have a manifest refractive spherical equivalent, MRSE, between plus 1 diopters to negative 0.5 diopters with less or equal to 0.75 diopters of refractive cylinder. The best raindrop candidates are those who do not require correction for clear distance vision, but require at least plus 1.5 reading add for clear near vision. They should also have a healthy ocular surface with a normal cornea and interior segment. As with all elective ophthalmic surgeries, select patients with easygoing personalities. Similar to LASIK, we want to select patients with healthy ocular surface. Dry eye is the most common complication of flap surgery, so we want to choose patients with minimum to no dry eye, with a good tear film quality, no superficial punctate keratitis, and no meibomian gland dysfunction. Good candidates for raindrop inlay implantation cannot be keratoconus suspects. They cannot have a history of herpes, dystrophies, nor previous LASIK or PRK surgeries. The procedure requires a femtosecond flap that is created at 30% of total corneal thickness with a minimum of 150 microns and leaving the stromal bed with minimum of 300 microns. Pachymetry CCT should be greater than or equal to 500 microns and the recommended photopic pupil size should be a minimum of 3 millimeters. Pay attention to eliminate patients with cataracts or other diseases that may compromise vision. When selecting an easygoing personality with realistic expectations, make sure that the patient understands there is a slight compromise in distance vision in the treated eye as a trade-off for improved near vision. Inform them they may need reading glasses for near activities when performed for long time periods or when reading very small print size. It is important and recommended to screen patients by using multifocal contact lens test or a blur test for monovision tolerance. Please refer to the contact lens trial testing video for additional information. In conclusion, when selecting raindrop patients, select emetropic presbyopes with a manifest refractive spherical equivalent between plus 1 to minus 0.5 diopters with maximum 0.75 diopter cylinder. Select patients with healthy ocular surface, no dry eyes. Because the flap will be created at 30% of the central corneal thickness, choose patients whose pachymetry will allow a residual stromal bed of a minimum of 300 microns. Select patients with easygoing glass half-full type personalities.